you want. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I, I think this would be a good time for us to talk about, I guess we could say Capricorn tendencies, just moments that uh we just did some shit. And I'll start. I got a good one. Well, wait a minute, y'all real. Before yeah. you start, re just read my book, refresh yourself again, because you're frozen. So refresh I, yourself. I can see her. Okay. Can you see her? Because she's frozen yeah. on that. Okay. <clears throat> okay. She'll be back in, in a second. <clears throat> All right. Here so this is uh me and college. So um I said I'll speed through the, I guess we say okay. nine. Yeah, we get, we got you. Okay. That's a lot of bullshit, but uh, it was this one cat. He waited to the last minute to like register and whatnot that I didn't know. And um, the house people were saying that they didn't have any rooms. I'm just like, well, I had, like I said, I'm in a room by myself. He can room with me, not knowing that it was because of him waiting to left me to do shit. So this boy was ultra uh, militant in his light skinned feelings. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I it is nice skin motherfucking feelings and shit. And, and then like, you repeated it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> it's a reason. It's a reason. That was Capricorn shit <laughs> just there. Yeah. Continue. No, because I don't know Man. what he did. I don't know what he did, but he pissed off the housing people, public safety to the point where they pretty much removed him from uh, the dorms, and I didn't know this. So I, I had all my classes during the daytime, and I worked the night shift at Target. So <clears throat> he pretty much knew my schedule, and I, I didn't know they kicked him out. So you know he would um come in mostly during the times when I'm at work, when not. I really don't care. Don't I'm really not fucking care because it. Because my thing is this: if y'all kicked him out, why didn't y'all take his fucking key? If y'all didn't want him on the premises. So, okay. Right, so um, his girlfriend, she came into my room. She was just like, well, can I get my laptop? I'm like, well, here's the thing. Nothing against you. I don't know if this is or isn't your laptop. <clears throat> so have your boyfriend call me, verify this is yours so I can give it to you. Because the last thing I want to do is touch, because even though it's in the room, I don't want to touch nobody else's shit. Because if I give it to her and it's not hers, now I'm fucking responsible. Mm -hmm. and, she, and she kept bugging me, kept bugging me. So I'm like, you know what? Look, why don't we do this? I will get off work early this one day. It was going to let me work eight hours. But I got off because I was scheduled for a three and a half hour shift. I got off. <clears throat> Walked my happy ass from Target to my fucking barracks. I'm sorry, to my dorm room because, you know, I had one of those buses running at three something in the fucking morning. So I'm sitting up for like an hour waiting for this. I'm going to be nice and not call out her name waiting for her to get there and she don't come so i'm like you know what fuck it i'm just finna black the fuck out next thing i know i hear knocking at my door it's fucking public safety <clears throat> you know the uh mall cops of the fucking dorm and you know and the, and the crazy thing is actually no let me i say I take the back it wasn't a knock on my door they came in my damn room and i happened to sit the fuck up and they and they looking at me i'm looking at them now mind you the female that walked in, her name was Alice. She was built like an Amazon. So I was like, okay, you give me my fantasy right now without giving me my fantasy right now. <laughs> you know, it was like, I kind of envisioned this and not under these circumstances. You know, so, <laughs> you give me a minute so I put my clothes on, you know. I'm just saying. So I come out and you know, and that kind of, you know, me mugging me and shit. And they was talking about the laptop. I'm like, you know what? Since you here, if you want to grab the laptop, you can give her the fucking laptop. She can have the shit. I don't fucking want it. So she go, it is what it is. A couple of days later, you know, one of the boys sitting on the stairs just shooting shit. She walks in. Now, right now, you walk in the doors, there's a little um like a little dining area off to the left and then there's the stairs she saw me and dips in there and i'm just like oh really that's what the fuck we do so when she came in i'm just, you know i'm like look can, can we talk let's go to my room so we can talk so go to my room now my sweet mate he and uh one of our friends are in are in the other room and i'm just trying to talk it's just like because i'm trying to figure out like what the fuck is going on 
And you know, she hit me with the bullshit, and I told her, it's like, on some real shit, I don't fucking like you. I don't want to care. I'm like, if, like if you got hit by a bus, I wouldn't look the fuck back. If you was on fire, I wouldn't even fucking piss on you. Your ass is fucking scum on the bottom of my fucking shoe. I don't give a fuck about your ass. Next thing I know, I hear the door go click. <laughs> and I'm like, did these motherfuckers really just lock their door? Like, I'm about to come, and then her face just melts, just like, did he just fucking say that? Yeah, because you don't do no shit like that. You don't bring fucking, you know, all top flight security of the world to my motherfucking room while I'm in my motherfucking bed when I'd have told your bitch ass, look, come to my room, come by. Because I took off work early. I could have got a solid eight fucking hours. No, I got to work early so you can have this little bitch ass, puss ass laptop. And then what the fuck you do? So yeah, she got everything she fucking deserves. She had fucked that hoe. And I'm done. That's a, that's a Capricorn moment for you. And you think you want to date my niece? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Good luck. <laughs> leave my niece alone. My niece right, is all right. 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 <laughs> sure. So, Jay, like your crazy. Turn. Your turn. Um, Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorns like that excitement. They like those yeah. challenges. <laughs> well, I mean, you got them yeah, right now. <laughs> Yeah, I do. I tend to like things that I I can't have. Um, me, I don't know what. Child, everything I do is Capricorn. Like, give us everything I do. Mm. Let me think. I don't know, Nika. Can you think of something? <laughs> yeah, I mean everything that I do is Capricorn. Like, well, like seriously, like I, I'm, I'm just <laughs> in general, I'm very unapologetic. I'm a very unapologetic person. Yeah. If I say it, I pretty much okay, okay. Here's one. Here's yeah. one. <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> Here's one. Okay, so. I have a uh, my my youngest boy, his godmother. She's very passive aggressive, okay? Very. So I don't really pay her a whole lot of attention. Cause she be doing that passive aggressive shit and I be giving her very much a girl. Go ahead here. You know, I, it just gets up that I don't like that. So she had called me. This was September. Yeah, this was in September. Her birthday's in September. We go through this all the time. Now, she's one that'll say, you know, you can't, you can't be letting yourself get stressed out because you're going through treatment and all that. You can't let yourself get stressed out because you just can't afford to be all stressed out. I said, okay. But then, dig it. She calls me on Tuesday. Yes, honey. What's up? And she's talking, and I'm like, where's this conversation going? And she says to me, you forgot my birthday. So here's the Capricorn part. <laughs> I said, I, I know I did. I forget your birthday every year. Like, we go through this every year. I forget your birthday every year. And then I tell you the same thing every year. So let's go back to it again. Let's do it again. I'm sorry. That that hurts your feelings that I forgot your birthday. But I tell you every year that I don't even try to remember birthdays other than my mother and my two children. So let's just do it again. Sorry that hurts your feelings. See, that's that old Capricorn shit. You know, I'm generally nice, but I can be nice and nasty too. But because it's ridiculous to, to, to do it every year. If I tell you every year, I really don't remember birthday. Like I don't stick on remembering birthdays. I don't. I, I don't. I mean, I'm sorry that hurts you, but I don't. So I don't I don't feel like it's mean. So after like the first two years, when she brings it up, not cutting you short, I really don't give a fuck. <laughs> that you feel bad that I forgot your birthday. Now here comes the passive aggressive part. So I said, you know, because you know that Capricorn, you I'm not, I don't apologize. I just say whatever I want. Then I say, well, 
So how did you, you know, what did you do for your birthday? Because, you know, now I'm, I'm you know, I done tore you up, so I'm going to try to smooth it with you. So well, what did you do with your birthday? Did you um, did you get some rest? Did you, what did you do? And then she starts telling me all the details of this party that she had that I wasn't invited to. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. Did I miss something? See what I mean? About the passive aggression. I said, I'm not even going to do it because then that's her saying. If I were to tell her, like, are you serious? You're talking about a party you wasn't invited to. She would have swore that I was looking at it wrong. How else is there to look at it? You you had a party. I wasn't invited. Yet, you want to make me feel bad because I forgot to call you and tell you happy birthday. Child, if you could start kissing my ass yesterday. So <laughs> there's your Capricorn. That's the Capricorn part. Just ridiculous. But I do. I am very unapologetic. If I feel when I feel a certain way about things, I feel a certain way about them. It is what it is. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't care. Eric, your feelings. It's the same shit every year. I don't care. I didn't care in 85. I didn't give a fuck in 95. I don't give a shit in 2005. 2015, I give less than a damn about your birthday. Like, really? Uh, Go have it. Can I say something about Capricorn tendencies, even though I'm not one? Absolutely. Okay. My <laughs> oh, I hate my sister, and I only have one sister who I love dearly with her crazy ass, but let me tell you. Now, my sister is a Capricorn. Her birthday is December 25th, born on Christmas. Christmas. Oh. Look here. Well, now since she's a Jehovah's Witness, she gets highly offended if you tell her happy birthday. So we don't do this. We're like, okay, look. Do you know this is what she says she is? You know, honor what what her faith, her belief. Is. Okay, we're cool. Do you know that she had the nerve to call up everybody and talk trash because she said you did not call and wish me a happy birthday? And y'all should have hung up. <laughs> <laughs> and Quit. she should have understood it because she's a Capricorn. So when y'all hung up and gave her class, y'all she should have okay. understood it. She knew that was some bullshit. She knew that was some bullshit. Lisa, you know that was straight up bullshit. I mean, for real. I'm like, now, Lisa, you. Ooh. I like, girl, you're going to have to quit this mess. Mm -hmm. yeah, you, she clowned. You tell your happy birthday. You say we, we're, not, we're not acknowledging your, your religious mm -hmm. rights. We tell we don't tell you. Now you want to call and say, we don't love you. We don't care mm -hmm. about you. We forgot your birthday. We didn't tell you happy birthday. Well, what the hell do you want? Well, yeah. I mean, we are self entitled, you know. You got to play by our rules. We have a certain set of rules we play by. So, and, and that's very true. Because another thing about this Capricorn and birthdays, uh, see, my grandparents did play favorites. One set of grandparents played favorites. They liked her more than us. So I'm gonna tell you what they did. Or it was my birthday, and they came through the door with two damn bicycles, and my mother and father said, "Oh no, this is not. This is not right." And Lisa says, well, why not? They asked me what I wanted, and I told them. So my mother stops looking at her and goes, looks at my grandparents and says, this is a child. What is the problem with you two? And Lisa opens her mouth again and says, well, she gets presents on my birthday. Why can't I get one on hers? That ain't no this sister got shit with her. Yeah, she got shit with her. her she got shit with her. She spoiled, child. I bet she ain't riding no damn bike. I bet you that. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me say this. If we're going to acknowledge that Jesus was born on the 25th of December, he's a true Capricorn, because who else gonna walk up in the temple, see some people gamma, start flipping tables and hit people with whips? Okay. That sounds like some Capricorn shit to me. Okay. <laughs> that like Capricorn shit to me, baby. I ain't messing with you. Right. <laughs> and for the record, I am not self-indulgent. I am not. I'm not that self-centered that people gotta play by my rules. My mother does say that though. Uh, but and, my mother and, does now, say that all the time. Now, here's one thing that I, and, and I'll say this to the good of Capricorns now. 
anytime we repeat this story and you ask her, she'll say, yeah. <laughs> she she, she admits to her bullshit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now I'm for that. That she will. Now she ain't gonna try and hide it and cover it up. But yes. Yeah. Now, <laughs> I stand in my mess now. I do stand now in my mess. I am spoiled. I'm spoiled, but my mother says that I'm like really, really <laughs> stuck up in it. I don't think I'm really stuck in it, but I am. I am. Spoiled. I'm spoiled. Because mm -hmm. the very good friends that I have, they do tend to spoil me. I don't know what that's about, but they do. Excuse me, y'all. Uh huh. That's why you never see me actually going back and forth with people on um, on my channel. Mm -hmm. You never, you you very rarely, like you might see me pop off here and there, but very rarely do you see me go back and forth with subscribers. When somebody gets out of order, I don't bother them. Y'all do it. <laughs> Taking up for our baby. They do. My followers always think they, they be like, oh, hold it. God damn it. Wait a minute. <laughs> and they take care of it. I don't usually go back and forth for people because I don't already said my part. You know, I don't already said what I had to say. And the person is usually disagreeing with me. And I'm like, well, I ain't going back and forth with you. I already said what I had to say. But honey, my little viewers, they'll play that shit. Uh oh. They will get you right together. Get up off his channel with the foolishness. We don't do that. I'm about to say, well, you know, um, my sister does a lot of that fighting for me, so. Yes, know. she does. That lady, Nika. <laughs> ain't, nobody scared, ain't nobody scared of Nika's ass. <laughs> I done told you before. I not, ain't nobody scared of Lady Nika. <laughs> Go don't tell you. her what I said now. Don't, don't tell her what I said. What <laughs> Child, Lady Nika think she think that ain't nobody supposed to say nothing to Yarrell here. Nothing. She don't want nobody even looking hard at Yarrell. Try nobody think about Lady Nika or Yarrell. Now don't tell her what I said. But ain't nobody think about neither one of their asses. She think he's hot diggity dog, honey. <laughs> I mean, I'm the shit. I'm a hot topic, good to look at, beautiful smile, no, great hey, personality. I mean, do, I need to do I need to continue? And you hold them up? Please don't. Please don't. Tennessee. <laughs> I don't think that way. Do you think that way, Ghetto View? I don't think I that do. way. I do. You know what? Look at her. Look. <laughs> Yes, uh -huh. <laughs> <Bust it. laughs> them, wait, maybe it's December Capricorns. I don't know about y'all January Capricorns, but December Capricorn. But we do tend to break up the spot. That's kind of what we do. <clears throat> Go and to a place and just shake it up. <clears throat> well, I mean, we are the show. Done. I mean, we are the oh. show, even if we're not the show. We are the show so it kind of just is that way <laughs> we dance to our own music can't help it <clears throat> and i've got to tell you you know what i am not into zodiacs and all of that but i've got to be honest and say there is something to be said for certain tendencies for people born under certain signs there really are similarities oh, yeah. it really yeah, is yeah. And I'm not real deep into it. I just kind of know. Yeah, and look, it says it's, most it's, of you, Cap, most of you YouTubers are Capricorns. We all self-centered and crazy. <laughs> but no, we believe in. Yeah, I mean we're we're show ponies a lot of times, and that's just being honest. We're show ponies. And look, because Forest Rocks, Forest Rocks is a Capricorn. Forest Rocks showed up. At the goddamn blackout, and I was in, in the hospital and pissed off that I couldn't be there. But Rock showed up at the blackout and shut the motherfucker down. <laughs> she knew her ass was done. Do you hear me? It was nothing. She wasn't going out of her way to do it. She's a show pony. She does what she does, and she be so goddamn plain. She just all she did was show up, hmm. and it was like Rocks is here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Capricorn thing. I, it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, and then some of us, 
like that one over in that square <laughs> will tell you how they're going to break it up. You know, I, I, no, I, 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 I when have I ever done that? Never. Two minutes ago, when you told us that you were fine, that you were sharp, that you all that shit. I was just stating facts. That's yeah. all. I mean, here's the thing. You need to be lucky I didn't come on here with matching yarmulke and t-shirts and everything. I could have gave y'all an outfit of the day on camera. I chose not to do that. That's okay. fine. I dressed down that's for this mess. All of that is a mess. All of that is a mess. He was going to put on his black glasses with the red stripes on the side. He just said, <laughs> that's what he does. Wait a minute. I was watching him earlier. I was watching one of his videos. And I shouldn't even say this out loud that I was watching his videos. It just makes his head get even bigger. But I was watching one of his videos. And he was talking about matching his yonka with his shirt and matching it with his underwear. And I <laughs> really? Really? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, so, oh some real shit. <clears throat> I dress very basic. I really do, unless I'm going to something that I need to. Because here's the thing, if I'm going to something, I'm going to stun on your ass. I'm going to let you know right, because I'm from Chicago. We match head to toe. Shit, sometimes they, our, under, our underwear match our motherfucking car. I mean, that's just how it is. So, Showtime. just saying. So we had a, um, we had a work day. And yeah. I said, you know what? I'm going to come in here looking like a damn tangerine. So I had on the orange yarmulke, orange shirt, orange jacket, like the whole ensemble. And everybody was just like, this motherfucker's in all orange looking like an orange tree. Yes, the fuck I was. Yes, the fuck I was. I, you couldn't tell me my ass was. Look at Diva K68. She said, yes, we, that's how we roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep that's forgetting right. to watch the comments on the side. I keep forgetting to look at that. Oh, I watched them. Yeah, shout town, baby. Shout town. Detroit is the same way. People from Detroit are the same way. People from Detroit take a lot of pride in how they look. They don't play. And the guys are worse than the girls. I can, I can see that. <clears throat> I can see that. So I want to put it out there. <clears throat> so I guess since the ghetto view left, I have a Capricorn tendency, but it's, it's like a real quick one. And the crazy thing is I didn't know that I did it until my friend told me that I did it. So... <clears throat> we were in, I believe we were in June. No, no, we were actually going to the uh, the cafeteria in the uh, <clears throat> while we, we were at college, and I think it was uh, TFC Bank. I think that's what it is. And they were talking about memberships, this, that, and third. So she was like, "Do you want a membership?" I was like, "No." And then I walked, and as I'm walking off, I guess she told my buddy, "Like he is so mean." And then he told me about it. He was like, do you realize what you did? I'm like, what I did? He's like, you snapped your fingers and said no. And heard the woman feel. I was just like, really? Well, I guess I meant that shit. Say, <laughs> look, this is unapologetic. That's terrible. I mean, well, my thing is this. You you try to do sales and shit. Don't come at me like that. Like, well, do you want this? You need to expect a no. The only thing is she just got a Capricorn, no, and it was a no, like get the fuck out of my face. Like, no, nah, I don't want that shit get the fuck out of here. And it just shows she's not a good salesperson. You don't ask somebody if they want it, you tell them why they want it. <laughs> and 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 guess what? She still got told no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Like I said, so, sometimes I can be a little bit merch. Just a little bit. <laughs> Tad bit. <laughs> right quick, James, invite, invite your girl up in here. Invite her over. Yeah, Nina. Nina. When I said merch, I thought about her invite her over now. Let me I'm see if I can get her. I mean, here, on some real shit, I am a fucking character. <clears throat> like, I was uh, telling this to James, like, I have a cousin. Show that I don't give a fuck about. Uh, like I said, I mean, she could suck a bag full of dicks and put some in her ass. Uh, I mean, it's how oh, oh, oh. What? Easy. I had to turn my speaker deck. <laughs> 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 okay. Woo! Okay. I'm yeah. just saying, like, I'm yeah. on some real shit. Fuck her and the horse that she fucking rolled up in here on some real Daddy, shit. He's so nice. He's so nice. I mean, you know, like I said, I love my aunt Alfreda. You know, 
But I wish that, you know, either she would have swallowed her or, you know, her daddy would have ejaculated on my auntie. I'm just mad she came into fucking fruition. Oh, some real shit. Okay. But, <laughs> good, 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 man. but anyway, this past good, summer, man. you know, I'm at home. I didn't want to go to the 4th of July my aunt house. I just didn't want to go in general, but... <clears throat> And, I, and my mom was like, wow, I'm like, well, one, you know, I don't really fuck with the family like that. But this one particular person, I don't want to see this. She said the wrong thing to me. You know how I get, and I'm going to say it the fuck off. And it's not about me. It's about my aunt, but more or less uh, my Uncle Willie, her uh, husband. It was like a joint birthday party, too. I'm like, I don't want to sit here and show out because you know I would show the fuck out. Like, I have no quarrels about that. And she was like, well, you know what she did to me. So, motherfucker, if I'm going, you going. And like I said, you... It's seldom I tell my mom no, so I fucking went. And then this helper had the audacity to say to me, she was like, oh, real, I was thinking about you. No, the fuck you weren't. Then I walked the fuck off on her ass. And everybody's kind of looking like, but shit, it's me. Like, Betty, I got another fucking Capricorn tendency. So, same one. Got <laughs> a bunch. <laughs> got a whole bunch. <laughs> so, same aunt house. Um, uh, I forget. This is right before I left for Korea, actually. <clears throat> you know, we was out there chilling and shit. And, uh, you know, I had some squares on me. You know, had some, you know, had them hundreds. You know, Newport, you know, them uh, Cadillacs in my pocket. And um, <clears throat> my cousin Dennis rolled up on me like, no, it wasn't Dennis. It was my cousin Eric. He was like, hey, cuz, let me get a cigarette. And I'm kind of side on the fuck out of him. I'm like, dude, you don't smoke. But okay, <clears throat> I gave it to him. I turned back around. He done gave it to his uncle's girlfriend. And I was fucking thrown by that shit. And let's just say I went the fuck off because my because a lot of people didn't understand why I was so pissed. So I'm explain why I was pissed, and then I'm gonna tell you what the fuck I said. My thing is this: I got it. <clears throat> I'm six one. I'm in the army. I could come off as being intimidating. So she felt awkward asking me for a cigarette. <clears throat> but my thing is this, what you don't do, you don't ask my cousin to come ask me for something for you. That's not what we do. So when that shit happened, I pretty much, now mind you, I seldomly approach females because it's not what I does. But I hit up just like, if you want a cigarette, why the fuck didn't you just ask me? She was like, well, I thought you might be like, nah. And then I literally snapped with the fuck. I'm like, hey, what the fuck it is? You don't dare ask my family to do that. Like, I can't even recall what I said, but it was just one of those where everybody on the porch is looking like, oh, shit, hit real go again. He just went smooth the fuck off. And then everybody's just like, yeah, you good? Yeah, I'm Gucci. But you just went the fuck off. Man. Oh, that's not going off. That was just me letting her know. You don't ask my family to ask me shit. You want some? You ask me a closed mouth don't fucking get fed. Don't do that shit no more. Man. That was that. <laughs> and you know what? Man. That's a lesson that I learned. That's a life lesson I learned as a child really young. My mother, now you could ask my parents anything. Now I knew not to ask dad because I would get in trouble because dad, daddy will tell us yes to anything. And if mommy find out we asked daddy, that's our ass. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> so, <laughs> we have to ask mommy. But now my mom will pretty much say yes. But you better ask yourself. If one of your little friends come and ask, hey, Miss Brenda, can Renee go? Can Lisa go? You are guaranteed to get a no. Yeah. You ask for yourself. <clears throat> If you don't, if somebody else asks me something for you, not only will you get a no, you will get embarrassed. And and another thing is, number one, you ask for yourself and don't ask me something in front of the people who you want to do it with. You better pull me to the side and say, don't you try it, because if you try it, I'm going to try it with you. My mom does not play. Yeah. Well, with that situation... <clears throat> The way it played out, because one, she didn't even ask her boyfriend. That is my first cousin. She didn't ask him. She asked his nephew to come holler at me about it. And it wasn't like he came to me like, hey, real, so-and-so won't know if, you know, she can get a cigarette from him. That's not what the fuck happened. It was he asked as if he wanted it for himself, for her. And that's what sent me over the edge. Like, you don't fucking do that. Like, if you want something, you ask. Right. If 
And if anything, she should have been like, you know what? Ask her boyfriend, can you ask your cousin if he could give me a cigarette? Now, have my cousin right. people be like, hey, real, my girl want a cigarette, would have been something totally different. But the fact that my cousin is asking me for something that he don't smoke. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's, that's why I went the fuck off. And everybody looked at me just like, oh. And the crazy thing is there were people that were like friends of the family that never met me. So their first oh, that's their first experience. <laughs> they were just like, and he's showing out. <laughs> see now, look, yeah, and see, and you know what? Now, see, I can get too because here's what I would do. Now, if if this is happening and this is my first experience meeting him, and I watch this transaction, I walk up to you and say, "So, can I have a cigarette?" <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> I sure would. <laughs> okay, well, okay, James, I didn't gave quite a few of my Capricorn tendons. <clears throat> All is in your court, sir. Yeah, because you just out here and incriminate yourself, and I ain't willing. <laughs> I mean, we just I don't know nothing about what you're talking about. Ah! <clears throat> I'm just telling the truth about myself. I ain't got no reason to lie. I mean, we can blame it on the yingling, but should I tell the truth without, you know, liquid courage? So. Well, come on. Oh, I'm you have Hold on, y'all. Real. Hold on. We go. We go toast together. Yeah. Okay. James, wait. Come back. James, get a cup. Put something in it. Wait, wait, wait for James. Come on, James. Oh, wait for you. This is my favorite shot glass, number forty-two. Joe Namath, baby. It matches your shirt, y'all, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're waiting for James to get something. We need for him to put something in the cup. Yeah. All those who are watching, if you don't have anything in your cup, grab something. We're going to tell something. You say grab something. Grab something. <laughs> grab <something. laughs> And I hope it don't explode. That would be real cute. Y'all would love that, wouldn't you? <laughs> I'm gonna laugh my ass off if it does. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just being honest. Touch your eyes. Okay, you got power A slush. That's cool. That's that work too. What happened? No, uh T D Bonner 74 says uh they got a power A slush. That's that's fine. That works too. Okay, so okay. Uh, okay. What are we toasting to? To you being messy as hell. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Salud. Oh, for you, y'all. Well, hi. That's right. Hi. That's right. That's right. Go ahead with the Hebrew. Go ahead, baby. Go toast to life. Today. I grew up watching all the little ladies play mahjong, so I am familiar. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm, how about you know what one the next time that I, I play drunk dreidel, which is probably gonna be next December, I'm going to videotape because it's gonna be a lot of lehaims going on and a lot of drunk right. people in the presence. Because drunk dreidel will get you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't drank in years. Years. Well, you know what? Don't don't start, but I used to drink. I drank rum and coke. No, no, what, what I'm and saying is like, you don't have, like, just be happy you haven't done it because it's a it's a bad habit. Um, I didn't have a habit. I just was thirsty sometimes. What's a bad habit? I, mean, I be thirsty all the time, hell. <clears throat> I mean again. He's talking about drinking is a bad habit. That wasn't no habit. I just when I'm thirsty, oh I get something to drink. James. That's wrong. People don't drink enough. Look, my <laughs> moniker is spilling all the tea, and I drink Long Island's. This is the first. This is one of the few times you don't see me drinking Long Island. Trust me. Yeah, I'm Long Island is a bunch of different liquor. That's just terrible. No, it's not. It, it, it helps right. quench my thirst. <laughs> yeah, and sting your palate, right? Oh, it is delicious. Uh, yeah, I used to drink them. <laughs> I mean, have you seen some of my periscopes when we drinking along the island? I really have seen you, Dal Torat. Yeah, I have. 
<laughs> Somebody <laughs> asked him one night what he was drinking, what he had in his cup. I said, they must be new. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out, it is seldom you would see me drink something other than a long guy. I'm just like, okay, they don't know. They don't know. Bless their yeah, heart. I've been down that road. I did the Long Island iced tea. I did the sex on the beach. I did I all that. Oh. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you really tried it. But yeah, I did the sex on the beach. I did lemon drops. I did blue balls. Oh, I don't like lemon drops, and I'm going to tell you why. Leave I heard one. that it was all the rage, and I went to this place, and they, I said, look, let me have a lemon drop. And the bartender looked at me and said, are you sure you want that? Because you know that's not what you drink. I said, well, I heard it's a great thing. Child, I wasted all my liquor, dropping the cup down in the cup, wasting my liquor, set the rest of the liquor on fire. I said, well, damn. So I ain't never a bunch of sugar. <laughs> and and they, they, they spilled and burnt my liquor up. I said, well, what the <laughs> hell is <laughs> <where are we?" laughs> Yeah, they used to do these things at this bar and I used to, I used to work at this bar all the time and they used to do um it's called a blue ball and then some type of blue coconut something but it tastes like blue Kool-Aid and I used to always call it the blue shit and it will have you tore down tore down there is a drink called the blue motorcycle that I'd like I like it, and I'm not big on mixed drinks. Every now and again, I might mix something, but there's a drink called the Blue Motorcycle. I love it. Only thing is, I don't want, if I order it, I order it without the sour mix. These bars will put so much sour mix in it, give you heartburn and lock cheek and all of that stuff. I don't like sour mix. Okay. But if you get somewhere, order a Blue motor. I, really, I think a Blue Motorcycle is a Long Island iced tea with blue core cow in it okay that, that's what i think it is they put in about six or seven liquors <clears throat> but they're all clear they put they're all clear instead of dark rum they use the light rum instead of yeah. dark whatever they use the light whatever but they put that sour mix and i don't like it so i tell them to mix me one without the sour mix they put a bunch of liquors and then they use the blue core cow in it and it is so good. Have a blue motorcycle next time you guys go somewhere. Check it out. Okay. Just tell them no try <clears throat> Yeah, it's like I said, I haven't drank in a long time, but I'm 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 thirsty, so it'll I be mean, happening soon. My thing is this: is you gonna put me in my ass? Okay. Because I mean, I'm a I'm a tea connoisseur, and I can't drink just any by the tea. Okay, you know, I need some shit that's gonna sit here and slap the fuck out. Y'all heard the sound effect. I need a motherfucking slap in the face. Yeah, he's running around drinking because it's really moonshine with ice tea. Then you tea. know what? He's telling us it's Long Island iced tea. It's really some old backwoods shit. No, wait, look, look. look. Oh, oh, I can no, tell no. you about that too because I live in the, I live in Buck Crack. I do. I live. <laughs> I live, I live on the, I live way out in the book. Look, I am in a one horse town. I can tell you about that moonshine and stuff. They got a still right down here. If you I, go down I, this road right here I've in the middle moonshine. of the cornfield. I've had moonshine, but no. Hey, they, boo. they got a still right. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. Cause y'all right. And now that you're here in North Carolina, honey, they will take you somewhere you go right because where I live, I'm telling you, you go down this back road past the horse pasture I don't and like it's two oh, 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 I don't like back roads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just sit down past the horse pasture. Oh, shit, I'm yeah. a we, we don't do back roads. We do lit places and shit, okay? Well, I, <laughs> ain't nothing lit. Nothing lit. Only thing lit around here would be me. I'm okay. telling you that. <laughs> It is pitch black back there, but you go past the horse pasture and right there in between the two cornfields and they leave up a road so you can't see them from the road. But if you drive back there and park and walk through the corn, they got a still. Well, if I'm going to the children of the corn, you said, no, this is No, 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 no. No, no, no. Good times being had back there past the, the horse pasture. Okay, talk about, wait, wait, you talking about that? Old boy talking about he gonna take us behind the motherfucker? No, take you behind the barn? Hell no. Hell yeah. to oh, the you talking about Mr. Garanimals from last week? 
week. Yes. yes. What was wrong with him? I was, you know what? I was watching on I was watching the blab on YouTube and I started typing like I was leaving comments. I said, let me stop what I'm talking about. <laughs> that fool was crazy. Very. Like crazy. I'm like it's That's like he goes him. from going in on Nika talking about because she said one bad thing about Chris Brown. So he started going in about that. And then he, it went from that to I want to suck your toes, and then I and I don't I was that extra. Yeah, yeah, he was a secret agent. He was coming again. He got an IP address, and yeah. <laughs> no, no. The worst part is uh, when he said your mama should have did a better job of. Oh, baby. And before right I, before I could get him, Nika was already deep deep in that ass. I was yes. just like, well, I'm gonna just. I, well, you fuck G, you know, and don't nobody get offended, but fuck Jesus, take the wheel, <laughs> took the wheel, and put that motherfucker in the overdrive. She was gone. I'm telling you, I was watching that and I was ready to type again. I'm like, oh, they can't see what I'm typing. This is, <laughs> I got, I'm telling you, I was sitting here watching that with my daughter, and as soon as he said it, we said, ooh, and all of y'all said, ooh. I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> no, he didn't say that. No, he did. When I heard mama, I, that was it. Then the girl laughed. Didn't it? And, and the crazy thing yeah. is, <clears throat> I think James had the single line read of the night where he was like, we hate your mama for having you. I was fucking <laughs> done. I was like, he brought mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I went from being mad at that fool to feeling something when he said, we shop here, we wear Garanimals. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Garanimals? Uh, <laughs> no, sir. I was he say Garanimals. He was a good fool, you hear me? He was four. Okay. <laughs> and when you ground, that means that was Garanimals, Addy, when you get ground. Yeah. That's a fool. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a fool. He was something else. He just and wanted to be cursed he, out. And 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 he sending somebody. He to put hits out. Yeah. <laughs> I got all y'all's IP addresses. Ciao. Put it with my social security number. That motherfucker ain't worth shit either. I'm like, no, yeah, dude. I was. Just, I could not believe what I was yeah. hearing, and then telling Yarell, "Oh, you you smoking that white man's?" Uh, well, I don't know what the hell is this man talking about. No idea. And he like, just, here's the thing, because he was like, I kicked him off once, and that was at the very beginning, because you saw my face. I'm just like, did he really just come on here with the fuck? I kicked him off that one time, and you heard nigga. Let his ass come on in. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and when he came, what, bitch? What, bitch? I was just like, damn. All right. 